I think that Cayman continues to lead the industry by far. Um, I know it does as it relates to being a jurisdiction of choice for U.S. managers because it's a choice for U.S. investors who want to be able to invest offshore. Um, it's one of those things where if you look at your operations, you know, you want to be inside the bell curve operationally and you want to be outside the bell curve when it comes to performance, right? So you need to uh, make sure that all of these things look alike. If you don't check the box, that's definitely a concern for investors that you don't necessarily need to raise. Having said that, I think that fees continue to do to increase around the world from a regulatory perspective, as well as not just fees, but also how do you comply with that? Because as complexity increases, being able to look to a pool of five within an investment manager shop is very difficult. So I think that there has been a lot of discussion um, in the US market, specifically in New York that I've heard in uh, quarter three and quarter four, some uh, members of the financial services industry have been very outspoken as it relates to what does the next jurisdiction of choice look like? Um, will fees be an issue? Will there be an exodus from one jurisdiction to another? Uh, and I think that Cayman is still in very strong standing, uh, but it is very important to recognize that three top areas of interest in 2014, cost, compliance, and capital. And cost really does ride the ticket very, very hard for U.S. managers, because if they can't keep their costs down, they're out of business. So it's certainly something that we have to keep our eye on the ball as it relates to that for Cayman to continue to succeed as it has done for 15 years.